it's Denise here. I'm back with another collection of paintings. I almost wanted to call them a family of things, um, which I've read in a Mary Oliver poem, I'm sure. And so here they all are ready to go to new homes. Um, but I really feel very sentimental about these bunch of ladies. And it's, um, I've not done it very many times before, but this time I've called the paintings by the name of the, the lady sitting. I've given each lady a character a name, and that's just the name of the painting. So that's been quite fun. And it feels like the beginning of something. I'm not sure where it will take me. And it feels really exciting and sort of full of life. And um, so coming on from the back of the collection called Sitting With It, I mentioned at the end of one of those videos that I was heading in this direction, but I didn't um, say how exactly that happened. Um, I don't think I did anyway. It's hard for me to remember without going back and re-listening, but I thought I would just um, gather these here today before I head out the door and before any of them head out the door to um, kind of celebrate them with you. Um, so the, what came about when I started doing those paintings called Sitting With It was I started to be very um, drawn to, I was just reminded of Matisse's work. And um, I don't know how that came about, but I think I started to want to put paintings within a painting. And so you, you will have remembered maybe the one um, called the, bent, the Bentwood. So I did a, a round curvy chair and behind it on the blue wall was a Matisse painting, um, painting, but it was one of his mosaics where he would cut out the blue shapes and make a shape of a figure or a plant and things. And so that, that group of paintings with that beautiful electric sort of blue I think they made me think of him and his blue and white works that he did, a lot of those cutouts. And so it occurred to me to put a Matisse poster on the wall of my painting. And so I did that by cutting around with my brush. I didn't actually use collage, but I used his design that he'd, he'd done. And so from there, I just started to see on my search just all of these Matisse image, all this Matisse imagery. And it caused me to go to the library and just gather all the Matisse books they had and just sort of pour through them and really enjoy the way he put a painting together. And so another one of the paintings in Sitting With It, with the colorful floral armchair, I believe the name of it was called Sitting Together. And unless I've got that wrong, oh, I'll, I'll put a correction across the screen as I, when I go to edit this, if I've got it wrong. And actually I might pop in a picture of the painting I'm speaking about now, so that will help you to understand where, I, where I'm meaning. Because in that painting, there is a gold frame and a um, vase of flowers and a little jeweled bird on the table sitting next to the big chair. And in that frame, I actually did my own version of a Matisse poster with the cutouts of the blue. And I painted that and I put it in the frame and it just didn't work. It didn't look right. And so I thought, all right, I'm going to paint a little portrait. So I went through online looking, looking and found a little, a, a piece of a larger work and just made a little portrait and popped it in the frame in the painting with the armchair. And that was the first of the gathered bunch to sell of that lot. So that was so interesting to me how my um, kind of inkling to include a little bit of Matisse in there um, came as like an intuitive little pop pop in and then to have that be the first one that was sold of that group 
was really sweet, really sweet for me. And a shout out to Mel, a lovely lady friend of mine who bought that painting. Um, it, it's really special for me when the paintings do find their new owners and I get to meet you on the off chance that I do, it's lovely. Or if you're someone I already know, it, it's really special. And so um, actually shout another shout out there for Megan who brought one even sooner than that, but I was thinking of the um, the collection that, of those sitting with it ones, but the little blue chair had gone off to Melbourne a little earlier than that too. So, so here is this new bunch. And so whilst they're all sitting together, I wonder what comes up that wants to be shared about these. Um, What, what is coming to mind that I'd love to do is when I go to edit these, to maybe try and find all of the previous iterations that the painting was before it came to rest in this, in this resting place. I'll call it a resting place because sometimes paintings never feel finished, but you decide to let it be because there's a perfectionist in us, I think, that um, would have us just keep going, I don't know, ad infinitum, forever, um, because you can always make changes. Uh, so I'm still learning, or we may we always be learning, when is the painting finished? When is it complete? When am I complete? And it's interesting to me when the paintings have figures in them and the way that changes the energy of the painting and the vibe of the room and um, once the figure arrives, and especially her face, then they can take on a whole new meaning and a bit of a story. And um, so, yeah, that's really intriguing to me how that happens with these little paintings. So I'll see if I can do that, is to make some separate little um, video snippets showing the iterations of what the painting was before. Because that's something I actually read about in one of the Matisse books that I got from the library, that he used to do that. He used to, um, in some of his exhibitions, he would actually have framed photographs of the work in progress next to the finished piece. And something about that really delights me as an artist to be able to see the, the way someone came about making that artwork. It's sort of... It feels like a real treat. Um, you know, it's like when someone shares a secret recipe of their favorite cake, you know, you, not everybody's um, comfortable to give their recipe, but those ones, those chefs that do give their recipes away, um, it feels like a generosity of spirit there, doesn't it? And that they know they can come up with new ones or more. And I'd love to adopt that, um, that knowingness as a painter to not be so afraid to show the workings and show how did I get to the end result of these because I'm always moving and may that always be so that I can always be calling upon the creative energy to be running through me and bring out something new that would be um, that would be a sort of delight that that's sort of why we do it maybe i think um i i get bored if i do the same thing too much so um yeah so um i'll be really interested to see how now after these ones um find their way out into the world what will come next i can tell you that i have started two very large ones with figures in them but for the moment I haven't shared them on my social media because that's something that I'm noticing is that I need to tend to my own well-being when it comes to how I use social media and when I use it as um, any kind of sort of sounding board or validation or anything like that it can be a little bit negative and sometimes also it can be um, energy draining 
And so I thought, well, if I was to share the works in progress as I'm doing them, and then I change my mind or people say, oh, I love it. And then I make big changes and it's no longer like that version that was loved. It's almost like as soon as someone says to you, oh, I love it like it is you've then got to break through the barrier whether you leave it as it is because someone liked it or you keep moving forward. And if you don't show the work to other people at that moment, then you're just answerable to you. So I think there's something, uh, something really in that at this time in my walk, my way, my journey, my art practice, that um, I'm tending and, and trying to rebuild the confidence that I feel like I lost over the last several years. Um, it, I can feel it really coming back, evidenced by creating all these new paintings in the last few months where I've had um, just so much more energy is returning to me. And so wanting to flow that out in a really um, healthful, joyful, positive way um, I'm just being observant of how, what works, what doesn't, what feels, um, what feels sort of uplifting and uh, enriching and, and, and what feels draining and always just being, notice the subtleties and the difference of the energy of, of one way or another. And it's just weaving and going and seeing, um, you know, as each day goes by, you have different days for sure. Uh, but there's been more days in the last sort of month or two when I've just been really enjoying uh, in, I'm in my studio painting. And so it's, um, it's really lovely for me to be able to share that with you. So that's this, that's all for, for now. I'm going to leave it here and um, have a think about how I might gather the progress pics and um, bring them in. I could, I guess, if I was really um, ambitious, I could make nine little videos. But I'll see if that works or not, or if that's not too much, but because they each have their own little story, I think. If I got to sit and ask them about it, I think they might. All right, thanks for listening. Bye bye.